So this question says the function f defined by f of t equals 14t plus 9 gives the estimated length in inches of a vine plant t months after Tavon purchased it. Which of the following is the best interpretation of the 9 in this context, right? So we want to know what does this 9 here represent? Well, we know that T is months, right? We know, in fact, also hopefully you recognize that this is in slope-intercept form, right? So Y equals MX plus B. So we know that M is like our 14, so that's our you know, 14 inches per month, basically, is what that 14 represents. And B, or y-intercept, is where the 9 is, which should make the 9 mean that the length of the vine plant was 9 inches at the time that Tavon purchased it, right? So at time 0, basically, before it continued to grow on a monthly basis. So choice A here says Tavon will keep the vine plant for 9 months. That's not my understanding of that nine. Choice B, the vine plant is expected to grow nine inches each month. Nope, that would be the slope, and we know that that is a 14 inches per month expectation, so B is gone. Choice C, the vine plant is expected to grow to a maximum length of nine inches. Well, that's also not true. As soon as we get one month beyond, you know, month zero, we're already at 14 plus nine, so C is not correct. And then choice D, the estimated length of the vine plant was nine inches when Tavon purchased it. That makes the most sense, right? So for us to say when Tavon purchased it is equivalent to saying when T is equal to zero. And when T is equal to zero, we get F of zero equals 14 times zero plus nine, which is F of zero is equal to nine because this whole thing just becomes zero. So that is exactly what the expression or what the function tells us. And it matches what this answer choice is telling us. So choice D is the correct answer here.